Hello, and welcome to the Whirly Block channel. Today, I'll show you a quick and cheap way to upgrade the VTX dipole antenna on your Diatone R349 and R349 HD quads. The awesome Diatone R349 and R349 HD use a very simple dipole VTX antenna. And this actually works surprisingly well because it's zip tied to the side of the canopy, it doesn't easily get damaged in a crash. But I found a really cheap and simple way to massively improve the video performance and it'll only take you about 15 minutes to fit. Just get yourself one of these Lumineer Micro Axi Lollipop antennas that's got the UFL connector on this end and make sure you get one that matches the polarity of the ones you're using on your goggles, right or left hand polarised. This one is marked up RHCP, which is right hand circularly polarised. And these have a maximum gain of 1.6 dB and are extremely durable and they only weigh 1.6 grams. And also, they're just super cheap. Remove the R349 canopy and disconnect the dipole antenna by snipping off the zip tie and carefully unscrew the CADEX camera. Be careful when you remove the camera connector and don't pull directly on the wires, make sure that you pull on the plug. You don't have to remove the camera, but we're going to drill a hole in the top so we don't want any debris getting into the back. This section looks like Diatone were sort of planning to fit the buzzer in here. Carefully drill a 4mm hole through the plastic and push the antenna through and fix it in place with some hot glue. Then locate the coax cable around so it'll fit under the canopy out of the way and you can bolt the canopy back down. Make sure the UFL connector is properly seated and the wire is pushed inside under the canopy. So that's it, all nice and neat and you'll get way better video reception with this antenna because it has actual gain. And if you crash, even if you're upside down, the antenna is pretty tough and is fairly well protected because it's directly connected to the top of the frame. But if it does come loose, it'll just pull off the board and it shouldn't damage anything. And you can modify your R349 HD exactly the same way. And you can see this one has already had a few upside down landings. Thanks for watching, and if you found that useful, give me a thumbs up and leave a comment. And if it's your first visit, then please subscribe to the channel for updates. I'll see you next time.